Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a rarity here in my cask. It's a Glen Callum, independently bottled by Signatory Vintage from Pit Lochery. Glen Callum was a distillery or is a distillery. I think they belonged to Allied Distillers and got into trouble and then they were uh, closed and mothballed and it took until 2004 until the smaller blender Angston D bought the distillery and yeah, brought it back to life and uh, established a range of well matured whiskies under the label Glen Callum of course and it took some time until independent bottles reached the market there are some from the time before the closing so they're very old they're very expensive but this one now is a new one it's seven years of age it's bottled 2018 on august 24th just a few months ago and it was distilled on february the 23rd 2011 it was matured in a bourbon barrel the cast number had been 800 110 Bottle number 173 out of 222, and I will not taste this one. We have a sample. And uh, this is something special because this is an exclusive to our company. So we decided which cast to buy, and therefore we had those samples from which we decided which one would be the right one. So it's 62.5 ABV, quite high. Uh, very close to the yeah, put into cask strength of 63.5 as well as Glen Callum. And this is the unchill filtered collection of Signatory Vintage. Means it's uncolored, of course, and it's not chill filtered. So it's naturally bottled. And typically, this uh, kind of bottle is uh, diluted down to 46%. But this one was kept in cast strength and we omitted the tin for this because this is a gourmet bottle and not a present for some, uh, well, <coughs> uncle, parents, friends or whatever. So is this quite in the middle? No, not yet. Probably now. <coughs> so this is an exclusive to us and uh, therefore you have to transfer uh, the taste of this bottle to well other comparable casks well there had been a range of casks from which we choose um, and the others won't <laughs> lie there forever i think they will be bottled as well soon um probably they will rest there for another 10 years i have no idea uh, how the demand for this glen Caram whiskey on the in the world is <clears throat> So, sorry. <clears throat> First is fresh citrus. It's citron. Yeah. Little floral. A little sweetness. Maltiness. It's lively. And in the back, a little bit. Just a hint of oak. So it's just seven years of age and it's a bourbon barrel. So there's, an, yeah, there's no European oak, which tends to be very, very spicy and aggressive even in the nose. So this is quite welcoming, a little cool note on top. And <laughs> this might be the alcohol of 62.5. So it's 125 proof for the US. Uh, viewers so this is high really and i won't try it neat no not really <clears throat> and it's always difficult to find the right dilution i try to go down below 50 but you have to stay above 35 40 <clears throat> so that you do not uh, yeah make it too watery it's smoother there's vanilla coming through, more fruits. Quite elegant, vanilla is becoming stronger. Yeah, well round, pleasant on the nose, light citrus note.
Mm-hmm. Still some alcohol in it. Yeah, really. Still citrus. It's like citron in an oak cask. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's quite <clears throat> dry. Dry is the right word. Quite dry. But shows some sweet fruits in the back. And a little oakiness. So it's it's weird. It's <clears throat> it shows this very young influence, but as well shows some aging take place. Probably because this is a quite a fresh bourbon cask. You can see in seven years the quite quite some color and some taste. It's uncolored, unchill filtered, and the aftertaste is long, pleasant, no bitterness at all some but very little spiciness from the oak mm -hmm. so Glen Caddam is very well underestimated yes underestimated and it's uh, yeah becoming more and more a <clears throat> better known brand even when the presence on the shelves of the dealers isn't well <clears throat> not that high as it could be yeah thank you very much for watching stay tuned there's more to come as always